Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger and I'm going to be covering a new knife from the Pass Around, Apex Pass Around Group. This is only my second knife I've ever got from the Pass Around Group. So uh, bear with me, there's not a lot of information about this knife because it is, e it is even out yet. This is the Invictus Damn, by Damn Designs and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about this knife right now. Okay Wastelanders, like I said before this is the Invictus by Damn Designs. I'll give you a little history about Damn Designs. I, I don't know much because this is like kind of a new knife maker for me. I heard just I heard about them maybe I don't know like a month or two ago by JB of uh, Big Reds EDC he told me about them because I was looking at the Oni I was looking at the Oni um, and then Presto like Ape or the Apex pass around group got four knives from damn designs and I re I'm receiving the Invictus first. I put my name down for all four knives. So this is the first of it. It was designed by Damn Designs. And I believe the founder's name is Adrian D'Souza. And I'm sorry, I don't know much history about the company and the guy that started it. I, I only know that he uh, funded the first knife using Indiegogo. And the first knife, I believe, was the Oni. The Oni's a very small knife. This, I would consider, I don't a medium to large. It's, uh, let's give you the specs. Just so, like I said, it's a medium to medium to large knife because the blade is I think it's about three and a half inches with a cutting eh. yeah about three and a half inches if you measure all the way to there the choil and overall the knife's if you I, I won't count the clip because the clip extends a little bit past the handle I would say eight inches and the handles about four and a half inches so it's not a small knife let's uh get a weight on it sorry I don't have calipers let's let's see if my fingers can tell <laughs> no I I don't have calipers <laughs> let's see it's 5.11 ounces so it's a big boy but really it um it really doesn't feel that bad i i i carry around in my pocket all week and uh, i've never i barely noticed it so um i carried it around probably two days before i realized this pocket clip was too deep to get a easy extraction from the pocket because the pocket clip extends past the handle so you uh, yeah the knife would goes all the way in there so I added a, like a lanyard just just a simple one just to grasp this and then pull it out and and uh, you know I for me I think that it needs it needed the lanyard to extract it from the pocket well, you can see it has a very generous lanyard hole this 550 paracord um, went right through it so the the specs are from what i can tell it's d2 steel and that's only because the blade has it labeled as d2 and it's a drop point flat grind um, probably I don't know if it's considered full flat. I, th I think of it as full flat. And it's 
got these blue G10 scales. It's a liner lock. And the, it has nested liners, so the only place you can see the liners is the, the disengagement. It has a great pivot. It uh, gives over, gets over the detent, I mean, right away. You can see it just, there's, it's so easy to disengage. It's just, it's over the detent right away. Um, it's tip up carry, right and left carry. Of course, it's made in China, the lanyard option. And let, let's, uh, let's do a couple comparisons. Knife comparisons. This is the Spider Co, Spider Co Tenacious, not the Kershaw Tenacious. I didn't make that mistake. And this is the Benchmade Bug Out. So it towers over the Benchmade bug out, but it, um, the Tenacious is fairly the same size. Let's compare it to another knife, the Kershaw Knockout. Because I felt the Kershaw Knockout had a similar looking blade shape. And another knife, this is the Solaris by Orion Knives. And if anybody that has a Solaris, they know how that how big it is. I'm just going to talk about my final thoughts. I really like the knife and uh, I'm afraid I'll gush too much about the knife. But I told Grateful Panic He's in the Apex and Bpex pass around group, and he, I just, I we were talking, and then um, I told him what what my eyes first went to when I unboxed this knife was the pivot, and next it was the clip plate. It has a wonderful looking pivot. It's some may say it's a little bit big. I I don't think so. It's a I like it because it's a hex shape <laughs> and the pivot reminds me of the symbol from the TV show Lost and I looked it up and it's not exactly like this at all but it just reminded me of it and I, I really I like the Lost TV show except for the last season but so what hit me off it from the start it has a great looking pivot I'm a graphic designer, so I just like I, I like geometric shapes and all kinds of design. I, I look at it, um, knives a little bit differently. I look at uh, knives, first of all, as a probably a work of art. <laughs> and this, this um, clip plate, when you don't have the clip on the other side, they supplied a piece of metal and I mean, I've never seen anybody, I mean, I don't, I've not seen every other, uh, all knives, but I've never seen anybody pay this close of attention to a, a clip plate. It's beveled all the way around and the clip plates beveled. It's just a great looking clip plate. <laughs> I know what, and I just, uh, the next thing I, I was in love with the, the clip itself the clip is countersunk on top of the screws there's there's no there's no protrusions to get in your way instead of inserting it in the pocket and this is a you may think it's a plain look clip but it, it's not it's not a shiny it's it's a matte finish and it's a very nice clip believe it or not i think it's a nice clip it, Fit, uh, it carried well and uh, 
I like it. Um, like I said, I had a at a lanyard for ease of uh, taking it from the pocket because it 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 didn't loosen up the entire week I was carrying it, and I'm glad that I landed added a lanyard after two days to just to ease it out of the pocket. It goes in fine, but it's a it's a kind of a tight fit on my my clothing anyway but has great jimping all around it's comfortable this uh, g10 is very well finished and uh, i haven't failed the knife I, I i've never failed the knife it's uh well it's never failed me it it opens up lickety split and uh problem free uh, let's show you the it's centered perfectly and if you uh, look at it it has a great detent so you can't get the detent out of there sometimes or the knife blade out of there sometimes it's a uh, it look it's all there I mean it comes all the way to the back spacer so you, you probably could have if you uh, adjusted the back spacer down a little bit you could have probably got a little bit more blade out of it but it, I, it's, I think it's fine yeah I really like this knife but it all oh, has jimping it's a uh, very comfortable jimping it, it's it's a grippy jimping but it's not overly aggressive you, you can't even itch your back with this jimping <laughs> anyway uh, I like how it rests in the hand it's I get can get easily all four fingers on it and uh, believe it or not I don't feel the clip I know it's there but unless my hands are numb I really don't I just don't notice it <laughs> I really like this knife I um, oh let's talk about the price man 45 49 dollars 49 dollars I think this knife is going to be priced at 49 dollars when it comes out that's incredible there they the finish is so much better than a I dare say a Civivi knife that would be $49 I think they couldn't make a Civivi uh, I, I, Civivi couldn't price this knife at $49 I think but what do I know I was seeking out information I was seeking out information I asked around the Apex group I kind of wanted to know who uh, who make this makes this nice for damn designs particularly the Invictus maybe all four of the knives and I was asking around and I don't I don't want to put throw anybody under the bus so I don't won't mention names but somebody told me Kubi makes this um, nice for damn designs because the designs or the knives are designed in America of course but um, damn designs uses like a manufacturer in China and I'm if Kubi is truly is Kubi making this designs I think it's it makes sense to me because I've watched a lot of Kubi videos um, particularly love them knives does a lot of Kubi videos and Kubi is a, a really great manufacturer I think he he thinks so and I think so too I have two Kubi knives and they are very well the fit and finish are very nice on them so I hope Kubi is make I, I hope it's true that Kubi makes them um, and maybe that's you know Kubi knives are not that expensive I don't know how they price their knives but they 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 get away with pricing their knives 
because they use good materials and they price their knives really well. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, that's probably pretty much what, what I'm going to cover on this knife. Check out some other reviews, uh, particularly Big Red's going to get this knife. Grateful Panic's going to get this knife. And a lot of people are going to get this knife. And uh, you'll probably get um, more, much more detailed specs from them when you want to know about the blade thickness and the edge thickness. But anyway, um, thanks for viewing my video. And uh, as always, take care, Wastelanders, and be safe out there. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to test out this sharpness on this evil banana. Let's remove that. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the second banana that I had to hack up. But I like bananas, so.